Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm on the ACARA team reviewing the Australian Curriculum Humanities and Social Sciences. The aim of the review is to improve the Australian Curriculum Foundation to Year 10 by refining, realigning and decluttering the content of the curriculum. In particular, we're working to refine and reduce the amount of content and duplication where we can. We're also focused on improving the content descriptions and achievement standards. We want the Australian Curriculum House to be clear about what is important for students to learn and therefore what teachers have to teach. With Humanities and Social Sciences, we've looked at key research and reports, international curriculum developments and consulted with academics and professional associations. In particular, we've looked at how other countries and education systems approach TAS, including Singapore, Canada and the United Kingdom. We sought feedback and advice from the major professional associations, including the History Teachers Association of Australia, the Australian Geography Teachers Association, Business Educators Australasia, and Social and Citizenship Education Association of Australia. In relation to HASS, a significant emphasis was placed on the ACARA annual monitoring reports and the feedback on implementation from states and territories. We also heard from teachers who shared their experiences about implementing the Australian curriculum. We established two HASS reference groups, one comprising teachers and the others made up of curriculum officers from across Australia. These reference groups have helped to guide and inform the review. We also have a separate reference group with primary school expertise. They've been able to give feedback on the manageability of the curriculum, looking across all the learning areas at specific year levels of bands. Drawing on our research program and working with the reference group, we've identified some key areas where the Haas curriculum could be improved. We reviewed and used core concepts to refine, realign and declutter the content, reduce content across foundation to year 10, improved structure across the subjects in year seven to 10, reviewed the number of topics to be studied in year seven to 10 history, increased authentic connections to the general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities, particularly Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures, look to reduce and refine the content in year seven to 10, and realigned content descriptions to achievement standards. The proposed revision of the Haas curriculum involved the following range of activities. We've used core concepts to refine, realign and declutter content descriptions in Foundation to Year 10 and strengthen the connections between F to 6 and 7 to 10. We've reduced content descriptions, particularly in Foundation to Year 6. We have removed all of the Year 7 content descriptions because all states and territories now include Year 7 in secondary school. We've also removed the subject specific achievement standards in HAS F to 6 and we've realigned the remaining achievement standards to ensure clear connections to disciplines. In the year seven to 10 has subjects, history, geography, civics and citizenship, and economics and business. We've focused on creating greater similarities and commonalities between the subjects and reducing or refining the content. We have reduced the expected number of topics students study in year seven to 10 history and identified specific topics as essential content. We've created new essential content in year seven history focused on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures, named Deep Time History of Australia. And importantly, we have realigned the content descriptions to achievement standards in the subjects in Year 7 to 10. We've created a What's Changed and Why document. This document gives you more detail about all the revisions we have proposed for the Haas curriculum. Take the time to have a look at this document. So now we want to hear from you. This is a simple three-step process. Read the consultation curriculum, familiarise yourself with the survey, and finally, complete the survey. It's vital we hear your views. We want your feedback, supportive and critical. Your responses will assist to shape an Australian curriculum for the next generation of students. To provide your feedback, please complete the survey. Thank you.